How are you all doing? My name is Kevin Davani. I'm the host of the Total Bitcoin Podcast Show and the Total Connector Show. Today, I wish to make a pretty specific tutorial. Uh, if you should happen to have a um, Samurai wallet on your smartphone, specifically on Android, and a Whirlpool GUI desktop version on your you know, desktop, on your uh, Windows, and you're a MyNode user. A specifically my note premium user you know that costs like whatever hundred dollars uh, extra just to you know have sort of a, a more or less a, a self-automated upgradable um, versions so um the thing is that um you know following instructions following guidelines and tutorials it's uh you know it can be quite a challenge uh for mo a lot of people i guess i mean i've been spending a lot of hours, days, weeks, you know, on, on so many issues, technical issues, connectivity issues, can be all kinds of details. So without going any into any other, you know, rabbit holes, let me just, um, let's just start off and, um, and hope, you know, I can save you a lot of time and nerves <laughs> and energy. I'll see you in a few seconds. If you're a MyNode user, especially MyNode Premium user, you have a Samurai wallet on your smartphone, you have a Whirlpool GUI, which is connected to your Dojo, and your Samurai wallet, of course, is, um, you know, on your Android, is also uh, connected to your Dojo, and everything, you know, seemed to be working pretty good uh, uh, until whatever, um, another release, another version of MyNode comes up, and uh, that was, in my case, um, uh, somehow for for some kind of reasons, uh, my Whirlpool GUI desktop uh, didn't work. It did not connect to the CLI, whatever it stands for. And I did everything. I, you know, I deinstalled, I reinstalled. I checked whether I have, uh, by the way, which you should do every time. You know, uh, do you have the latest version? I, you know, I, I, I went into every Telegram group, my node, my node premium group, Whirlpool, Samurai. Now, you know, I love what they're doing. I really love, you know, the Samurai people, the Whirlpool people, the, all the developers, uh, you know, all the people that are working, especially Bitcoin Q&A, who's also in many of these groups, who does tremendous job, you know, educating people. Sometimes, you know, you just got to figure it out yourself. And there's a lot of people, you know, then in those groups, in World in Whirlpool, Samurai, they're going to tell you, oh, go to my node. This is, um, this is not a my node group. Or you don't know, or you're not, you know, you're not going to get any answers or whatever, or they're going to tell you, you know, get yourself a Ronin Dojo. It's a, you know, specific spe setup specifically for uh, Samurai wallet and, and, uh, you know, connecting to Dojo, but it needs, I'm not sure even whether it needs a specific setup, you know, from a hardware uh, standpoint, probably, you know, maybe it's really more reliable, but I really don't have any experience. I don't have any testimony. What you do is first of all, you, uh, check whether you have the latest the latest version on uh, you know of all your applications so what you do for some you know um i want to really emphasize this for some uh reasons i cannot show you you know for opsec reasons for security reasons i cannot show you everything so i'll try you know to explain this as as easy as possible or i will you know uh, share with you some screenshot you know I'm, I'm sure you can just follow the the instructions the guidelines the general guidelines the links i'm going to give you and put those in the show notes of some samurai wallet of my note first what you do is uh you go into your my note page you know with your uh, local you know IP, uh, my note ip address or um or you just, you know, whatever, mynode.loco, however you do it. You go to settings, first of all, bottom of the page, you look whether you have the, the current version uh, of mynode. Um, so it should be this, you know, the current and the la latest version should should be identical. Then you'll go on home again. Uh, you'll go to applications. There you have all the applications, the current version, la latest versions. So this is how it looks like and um it says in my node manage application so you need to make sure that you have all those apps in the latest version and um of course in some cases you can go to you can go to my node to settings sometimes you know you just need to reinstall uh, a specific app which you know might have issues or you have problems with you know it's and then you go you know down to the you know bottom of the page more or less it says advanced 
and then it says somewhere it says reinstall applications and this is where you you know reinstall uh, specific applications would it be whatever uh, whirlpool or dojo and then you'll need to be you know really patient you need a lot of patience sometimes because uh, it takes time you know until you see everything is green right it's on settings and there on, below advance it says reinstall applications if you're having issues with a specific application you can try to reinstall them via the list below um, reinstalling an app will trigger a reboot of your device all right so you can do that of course always you know for every or any specific application. What I did is uh, I did all that. You know, I I deinstalled, I reinstalled, I checked with I have the latest version of my node of the applications. I even um, went to this page. Let me just show this to you on samurai.wallet slash download. Uh, you can find you know the latest version of uh, your, you know, for of everything, you know, of some Samurai Wallet, Sen Sentinel Watch only, Whirlpool for Windows. You know, I'm a Windows user, you know, just a regular Windows user. And this is your latest version. Today is November 18, 2020. So the latest version is 0 0.10.2. Uh, that's the Whirlpool GOI version. I'm not sure about the CLI version, but, you know, I guess it's sort of, it comes with it or not, but th it's important that you always have the latest version of Whirlpool. All right. And of course, Dojo, you don't need that because it's already uh, implemented and integrated into the Mino. So what I did is uh, I did all that several times. I asked around and then, you know, they tell me, you know, go whatever, either to my node or they couldn't help me. Bitcoin Q&A really tried to help me. I really appreciate his help. I, you know, I really support his work and, um, and there, you know, so many others uh, that that you know do tutorials or education. So I really am grateful for all the work. But I would say, you know, compared to any other, uh, you know, user out there who has never, you know, dealt with these kind of things, and if you know, I'm not a techie, so some things, you know, is even I could even say, you know, it's not even based on on rationality or logic or experience. It's sometimes even intuition, you know, like like you know. Should I like restart the computer uh, again or, you know, uh, or reinstall something? You know, these are like more intuitive things that you, you, you might do because of whatever some experiences you've had all, already. The really critical clue, uh, which I'm going to give you in a few minutes. Uh, so you have your Samurai wallet, right? On your, on your Android, let's say. All right. And what they really did, they did an awesome job. It really opens up much faster. You know, when you open up your Samurai wallet, uh, and then it says here, uh, and then it says initializing Tor. This is now much, much faster. All right. There's a blue line and it's, uh, and it just, you know, it really within seconds, it opens up and then you can just type in your pin, open it up, and then you'll have to wait, you know, a few seconds or whatever until this blue line, uh, you know, stops. And then you should see in the main screen, you know, the amount, whatever you've had, you should see that visible. If you don't, well, you already have a problem, even an issue. If you have, if it says zero, whatever, and then the, on the top right corner, you see have the three dots. You go on the three right dots, you, you go on spend from post mix whirlpool, and you should also see there, you know, the amount that you expect or whatever should be uh, in your balance, right? Total available amount. And if it doesn't work, you know, just, you know, maybe try it again, close it, open it. This is just, you know, the regular procedure, right? Uh, data connection uh, should be green. Tor routing should be green next to it, you know, is renew, disable, uh, but you can renew the tour but everything should be green and the Dojo full node should be green too, right? So, you know, everything's working on your Samurai wallet, on your phone, on your Android. Okay, so what I did is I did, you know, I did everything. I even um, uh, tried to secure erase. Uh, I did that. I secure erase my wallet. Now, this is an instruction uh, that is from Ronin Dojo. You know, if you have your, your own specific Ronin Dojo from Samurai Wallet, you know, Whirlpool, uh, to connect it to your Dojo, but I'm talking like, but this, the procedure is, you know, is actually, it's, it's the same, right? So you move, uh, how, how to move a wallet. You go to your Samurai Wallet, you open up Samurai Wallet, press the three dots in the top right corner to access the menu, right? And then you go to settings, to wallet, and then to show monomic, right? So, and, and the monomic, the 12 word monomic phrase inside your, your phone. And then you check and double check this matches your offline backup. If you go to the three, you know, to the top right corner, three dots, you go on settings, you go on wallet, 
And then you should have check, check mark, you know, how to save backup to device storage. Optionally, you can click on scramble pin screen and haptic pin entry. And then you go to trouble uh, troubleshoot. It says here passphrase backup test. And this is where you uh, enter your passphrase. Once that is verified and validated, it asks you whether you want to, you know, you want to test uh, whether the, the backup, the decryption of the backup is also okay. So you, you, you say yes, and then it says, you know, it should, it should, you know, should all be okay. So you go back to the menu, press troubleshoot, passphrase, backup test, enter your wallet's passphrase. If you entered it correctly, you will be notified. Do not move past this step until the wallet confirms you entered the right passphrase. It's very important. Otherwise, you know, you'll go and open up a totally different new, you know, wallet. If you, if you should have like a payment address, that is also then totally different, right? So you need, you need to make sure that your passphrase is okay. You need to wait until it's validated and then you can you know, proceed with the procedure. Without this, you cannot access your Bitcoin. Uh, okay, now if you don't already know it, make a note of your pay name. You can access this from the main wallet screen, press the blue and then press pay names. This is a good way of testing that you recovered the correct wallet uh, at a later stage. That You can do that on the main, main screen, right? Just test it, you know, your, your pay name, right? And then you go to settings to wallet and then secure erase wallet. Now you restart Samurai wallet, select mainnet. Usually it doesn't ask you this anymore, but and for some reason it still says here, select mainnet, but it actually goes directly to mainnet in my case. And then you activate Tor uh, and, and sometimes it could even be that the Tor is already activated, but just you know ha make sure that Tor is activated and then press the three dots in the top right corner connect to existing dojo. Now, if you go to your MyNote page and you go to your dojo app, right? On your main screen, you go to your MyNote, you know, dashboard, you go to your uh, dojo, you know, app, you go on info, there's then, you know, your status running, tracker status active, Electrum server status running, and then you have a restart button and an uninstall button. And then below that, you, you find your dojo, v3 onion address and that you paste into the tor browser right and below that you have the node admin key this is your node admin key this is how you open up all right and and if you haven't uh, you know if you haven't installed tor browser yet then you should download and install tor browser but definitely the status must be running on your uh, dojo app you don't have to wait till your dojo is synced but all transactions in your wallet might be missing until it is completely synced. On the log login page, copy paste your node admin key onto the in bo input box and press enter. Once authenticated, the pairing tab with a QR code is shown. Open Samurai mobile app on the main wallet creation screen. Click on the three dots on the top right corner and select connect to an existing dojo. And if there's a note, currently you must create a new wallet to pair to your dojo. You don't need to do that. We're, we're talking like restoring a secure erased wallet, right? You have your, you know, you already tested everything, your passphrase, everything. So uh, just ignore that. But I'm just reading this for you uh, because it's part of the, you know, um, other instructions. You must first delete your existing wallet using the instructions below. It says here, scan the dojo's QR code on your Tor browser complete the wallet creation process or restore your previous wallet. This is what we're doing. Instructions below and check your setup by tapping the network icon at the top. You should see Dojo full node enabled with a green dot and wait till the Dojo is completely synced before using Samurai wallet. This is when you really, you know, are uh, creating a new wallet, right? From scratch. Shown above on the tracker status file, there are instructions to delete some existing Samurai Well, this is, and this is what I did and this is what you could be doing then, you know, note if you're going to delete your wallet, make sure you have your seed phrase, settings, wallet, show monomic. This is where you get your 12 word seed phrase, right? And your passphrase. So these, you need to be first, you know, you need to check them, double check it, you know, have it validated, and then you can proceed uh, to delete your wallet, go to settings, wallet, secure race wallet, all right? And on the main screen to create a new wallet, select connect to existing dojo and scan your QR code. And once connected, now this is very important. This is where I miss because I, you know, somehow the, it says import external wallet, right? Uh, after you have, you know, connected to, ex to your existing dojo with your QR code, which you, you know, you find on your, via the V3 onion address, the node admin key to your pairing, tools pairing, right? And then you'll find um, two QR codes, uh, 
One is the Dojo QR code, and the other one, you know, uh, I, I never used it, Block Explorer QR code. So you want to, you know, pair it with your Dojo QR code. You raise your security, raise your wallet, you connect it to your existing Dojo with a QR code. And then once connected, you press back, go back to the option, import external wallet, you know, the top right corner, import external wallet. And then re you restore your wallet using your, C your 12 words uh, seed phrase, a monomic phrase. You just type it in and it, it shows you automatically, by, you know, uh, the first letters. It just shows you the words and you just go, you know, a tip on that. And, um, and then below that, there's a BIP39 passphrase. And that is the passphrase you always use for your Samurai wallet. This is where you enter your passphrase. And then it should be all good. All right. You do not create, you know, a new a new passphrase. Otherwise, you know, you will just create a new wallet, or you know, you will not uh, find your funds. So this is one of the uh, one of the pages of your Samurai wallet. Uh, when you enter, you know, um, it says auto save backup to device storage. It should be green mark, you know, a, a check mark, scramble pin screen, haptic pin in entry, and this is show monomic, right? So you go Samurai wallet show monomic, and this is where you are shown. The twelve, your twelve word monomic phrase. Uh, but I'm sure you know when you set up your uh, your wallet in the first place, you've written it down securely. You know, just in case you have a backup, a written backup. You you know with with a with a, with your you you just wrote it manually on a piece of paper and stored it in a secure place. All right, and this is where you have all your XPUBs. Uh, but this is what this is where we're going to use those XPUBs for later to scan them. So. For now, we don't need those. What I did is, um, and now comes the, you know, this this clue is uh, after one of the users of in my note uh, group, um, he offered to help me or you know go through the steps. So he, I went through all the procedures, you know, that I already done actually, but he asked me, you know, uh, I had the latest version of my uh, Whirlpool GUI on my desktop, but it was just not connecting to the CLI. I did everything. I even turned off my VPN. I said, what if, and then he really inspired me. I asked him, well, I, I was already thinking maybe there were, there are old files in my, I mean, I'm not a techie, but there, maybe there are some old files in the C directory, you know, in the C directory where you have your files, you know, you go to user, your, your user files, and then you go to app data and then to roaming. And this is where you have all those, you know, sub files of different applications. So I went inside and said, I, I found, you know, uh, you know, this file Whirlpool GUI. I'm like, you know, there are all bunch of, you know, uh, files or old files. I don't know what to do with those. And so what if I, what if I delete those? So he wasn't sure either. Um, and but I said, you know, I don't need those data. I mean, I have everything. I have all my data, nothing really sensitive is stored. So, uh, so I, 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 you know, I double check with them and said, you know what, I can try delete all the old files. So this is what I did. I I deleted the, the entire Whirlpool GUI file in my C directory, you know, app data roaming. For that, I deinstalled again uh, my, uh, the latest version I already had of Whirlpool GUI. I deleted the file, uh, Whirlpool GI, in the C directory, app data, roaming. Before I restart my computer, I did even a cleansing, you know, with the, whatever it's called, CC, you know, cleansing mass or something like that. You know, I took a total cleansing of all the caches and everything, all right? So this is what I did. And then I restarted computer. And then I downloaded, I went to this page, the latest version of Whirlpool 0.10.2. Today is uh, November 18, 2020. So that's the latest version. Of course, you know, you should always, you know, check the signature, everything, but you know, I just didn't do that this time, but you should, you should actually verify. And there's, you know, a separate tutorial for all these kind of things uh, and, and guidelines, how to, you know, uh, check um, and verify the signature of that specific download with Cleopatra and HXD. And finally, you know, I validated everything, the passphrase, everything was okay. I, I restored my, my wallet. Once you open up, you know, the, the desktop uh, application, it says advanced CLI. So it's, so what you do is you go to advanced CLI, you enter HTTPS double colon, uh, double slash, and then your IP address or myno.local and double colon 8899. So there are, you know, very clear instructions from my note for that, you know, really kudos to them. So this is what you do. And then it should ask you for your pairing load. And this is where you go to your Samurai wallet. You go to settings 
on your Samurai Wallet, you go in Transactions, and, and then at the very bottom, it says Pair to Whirlpool GUI. And this is where you open it up. You clip it to the clipboard. You send it securely. Be a standard procedure. You should really securely send it to yourself, you know, via email. The best would be probably Proton Mail or whatever. Um, and this is where you copy the whole thing, the whole string, and then put it into the pairing load, right? There's a, you know, a, a big field, a big box, and this is where you put it inside your, you must have your tour activated. But usually if you do this kind of things nowadays, um, it is already activated. Whirlpool GUI version, the tour is already activated. You just need to be patient until, you know, it syncs everything and, um, and then you can just open it up and you should see then, you know, your, your Whirlpool, uh, desktop, uh, everything is green, you know, the, the network symbol and every, every other symbol, uh, should be green. Uh, there's three symbols, the onion symbol, the other, whatever computer symbol and the network symbol should be green at the left upper corner of Whirlpool GUI desktop version, right? The app, the application and Doja should be enabled. Tor should be enabled. There should be two check marks when you go into system and connect it to CLI. And there's also the network symbol, which also is activated green. Okay. And then you can start actually, you know, if you already have some funds or whatever, you can start either directly from your Whirlpool Samurai on your Android, you could start, uh, you know, the pre-mixing, the, the mixes after that doesn't cost you anything. This is what, what Whirlpool GUI is so great for. It's so really amazing is that it just, it just keeps on mixing and mixing and mixing and that, that doesn't cost you anything. All right. So you'll see, you know, late last activity, deposit, pre-mix, post-mix. And from there, you know, you can just control everything and have a really great overview of what's going on. And you can also, of course, deposit directly into the Whirlpool GUI, but this is, I think, a more burdensome procedure. I would just, you know, start. What I was trying, what I've been trying to tell you is here, there's always some issues, you know, there could be some minor issues, technical issues, connectivity issues, or some kind, you know, of technical bullshit going on in the background. In my case, it was those old files, obviously, because uh, I had already done everything. I'd, I've, tried, I've tried every experiment. I tested everything. I deinstalled, reinstalled. I, you know, I secure raised the wallet, but that was, that did not resolve my issue. So my issue was, I don't know why, I don't know how, but I, I, what I did is I deleted my, the whole file, which I didn't need because there's no, you know, there's no like really sensitive, uh, you know, data or whatever, or transactional stuff or whatever. Uh, but I didn't need it. I just thought, you know, what I'm going to do. I don't even know, you know, which ones to delete or not have that too. You should have like a sort of double and triple backup of your pin, of your passphrase, of your seed phrase securely, you know, stored somewhere written down in a piece of paper. So yeah, so what I did is I deleted that. I I, I deleted also the, I deinstalled the Samurai Whirlpool, uh, the Whirlpool GUI, cleansed the whole system, my laptop, you know, from, from all the caches and everything, because sometimes even, you know, that could be, and then I restarted my computer and then I reinstalled, you know, the Whirlpool GUI, then secure, erased my Samurai wallet on my Android and restored it again with my seed phrase, uh, passphrase and connected to Dojo. And then what you can do, once you have everything and you're still having issues and you don't see your, sometimes you just got to be patient, but it could be, you know, it just takes some time. But if you want to make sure, you know, you have all your funds, why is this balance zero on the main screen or in the post whirlpool spending balance? Then what you can do is follow this instruction and you go on bitcoinqna.com. Uh, it's a great site, bitcoinqna.com. I'm gonna put those in the show notes too. Rescanning XPUB using Dojo maintenance tool. And you know, just, just uh, follow those instructions. I'm not gonna go through every step, but it's just important that you, you know, first check everything is running, status, tracker status, Electrum server status in your MyNode for MyNode users only, of course. And then you open up, you know, you uh, paste your, uh, onion v3 address into the Tor browser and then you open it up with your node admin key which you can also find in your uh, you know dojo uh, app info page on your my node dashboard and then you should see something like this all right step three you now you now need to check that there are no errors shown in dojo status step so there should be all kinds of you know green check mark status tracker web and then you go step four uh, 
you go to your Samurai mobile wallet, you know, right? On your, and you click on the three vertical dots in the top right corner on the screen, settings, wallet, show XPOP. And there you see all those things, all right? But I would like do it separately. I would, I would just open this up and just show, for example, SegWit, whatever, uh, BIP44 XPOP, and then just copy, copy and, and send it to yourself and paste that into the uh, scanning uh, tool on your, uh, in your Tor browser, which you have opened up, you know, your, your Dojo maintenance tool, right? Just to make sure I would, I would really uh, make sure that you scan every XPOP, XPOP, YPOP, ZPOP, Whirlpool, Premix, ZPOP, Whirlpool, Postmix, ZPOP, and just, you know, just follow the instructions, copy the XPOP or all those X different XPOPs, YPOPs, ZPOPs of the accounts you wish to check using Dojo maintenance tool. And you just need, you know, wait a few seconds. Back in Dojo Maintenance Tools, click on XPOP Tools and enter the XPOP or YPOP or ZPOP and then go to Go. Look something like that. And your general info, most recent transactions, XPOP derivation info, and tell you like your balance. And so this is a really, this is the instructional guide of Bitcoin Q&A, all right? So it's a really great site uh, and give him a follow on Twitter. And if you do not see a balance on the re result, uh, result indicates that Doja is not tracking the XPOP, press rescan this XPOP, start with the default values and hit rescan. If you still do not see a balance, increase the look ahead value by 100 and repeat. So you put in like zero and then 200. Once you go to rescan, after you, you know, enter rescan this XPOP and then it should, you know, should all then be okay. So and then you restart your Samurai wallet app and wait for the blue loading line to disappear as usual. Navigate to the part of the wallet where you expect to see your funds, your deposit. The wallet opens up, the premix or postmix, and you should see all your sats and your Bitcoin. If you have funds stored in multiple parts of the wallet, simply repeat four steps four to eight for the relevant extended public key. So there's, you know, great instructional guides. There's uh, the reason I did this, you know, to show you that there's, you know, you can always have some specific issues that you need to resolve for yourself, or you need to ask questions or write questions. You just go to, still to the telegram groups, try to find some kind of inspirations, some kind of support, some kind of help. And usually there's one user, you know, like Jack, uh, I don't even know, you know, who he is, but he really offered me help. He went through every procedure again, you know, with me, and then he really inspired me and I asked him, you know, uh, maybe it could be because of some old files or old data, and, and so I really appreciate and really grateful for his inspiration, for his questions he's asking, because this is, you know, how you comprehend, you start comprehending, processing things maybe and start learning and, you know, expanding your knowledge, your consciousness and your, your wisdom. And so this is, this resolved my issue by, by deleting the old files in my C directory, app data, roaming, you know, in the user file. And then I, you know, I deinstalled uh, my, uh, my uh, before that I had installed the wallet. Uh, I'm sorry, the G, the uh, Whirlpool. I installed the Whirlpool GUI desktop version. I deleted the old files. I cleansed the system, make sure that I sort of more or less scar from scratch. And then I went to the to the site samuraiwallet.com/downloads. This is where I downloaded and installed the latest version again uh, of uh, Whirlpool GUI. And then I secure erased my uh, my Samurai wallet, my, my mobile phone, my Android, uh, validated and verified, confirmed, you know, my my passphrase, my seed, for, you know, phrase and everything, I, my backup. Uh, so there are very, you know, great instructions also on Bitcoin q and I opened up my Whirlpool GUI. I put in the, the pairing load to the Whirlpool, this long string, and then your Tor should be activated. You you should act, you should be connected in the CLI, the check marks, you know, network, computer symbol, whatever the onion address should be, all be green. And then, you know, you can just start, start post mixing and checking your pre-mix, your post mix, what, what have you. So I hope you, you know, could really help you, if you want to support me in any way, send me some sats or whatever, or send me an email, hello at the totalconnector.com. My email address also is kd at kvandavani.com. That's kvand, like key, the key to the van. This is how you remember it. Uh, kd at kvandavani.com. Please give me a follow on, on Twitter. 
Subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. Give me a follow. It's the hot blood uh, and the energy of my work. So I can really uh, keep up my independent work. Please also follow me and listen to the interviews I do with all the awesome, you know, technologists, economists, uh, Bitcoiners, you know, bright minds in this Bitcoin space on anchor.fm slash Kevan Dabani. Uh, you can also find my podcast on different platforms. Give me a five star positive rating if you loved in any of those episodes uh on itunes or any other podcast platform please give me a follow on twitter my twitter handle is kevin dabani if you want to support me provide me or us our team uh which i wanted you know we're in the process of doing a bitcoin documentary a really thrilling one where i go to the essence to the core of bitcoin for the masses of the people um so if you have any skills, talents, or you want to you know, contribute with your resources, your, or you know you want to fund it, or be a co-producer, producer, please get in touch with me. Again, my direct my DMs are open. My website is kvandavani.com, or in short, thetotalconnector.com. And yeah, if you have any you know questions, let me know. If you have any you know feedback, uh, what how I can improve, or what kind of guests I should bring on on my show, please let me know. I really appreciate your, your attention, your help, your time, your energy. And don't forget, security, privacy comes first. And uh, stack those stats, buy the fucking dip. And uh, I'll see you soon again.